Cincinnati News, everywhere. As Suncor lays off 1,500 workers across the company just days after the provincial election and the corporate tax being a key issue during the campaign, those who research the petroleum industry tell me automation is having far-reaching impacts on the industry. We went through COVID and there weren't very many layoffs and weren't very many people leaving because there was nowhere to go. So we might have a compression of three or four years in terms of the layoffs. I think that's part of what's happened, why it's 1,500 and not 400. Alberta is already home to the first fully autonomous oil sands mining operation, and Professor Schultz says that trend will continue as the industry looks for more efficiencies and savings. The impact could be devastating to local communities near drilling sites who don't have access to high-speed internet. The real question is, what are people in the field going to do, particularly if the local community has been going sideways? So there's going to have to be some way to move some jobs over the internet to where the people are, get the people trained up to do some type of digital uh, job positions. While layoffs in the industry are nothing new, Schultz says the industry is changing permanently, amplified by the federal government's push to carbon capture. And the jobs are going to be a combination of knowledge about energy, and particularly in sustainability and where to deploy the capital to reduce the carbon. That's where the jobs are. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.